today we are going to see the four point wise shadow down and uh, let me first just explain how to make the PMS let's call for that and it's just popping up here you can see this file belongs to the first april now i'm going to make the file for the second april in which i can process the data for the four point wise shadow down now let me first put the gas laser. In PMS Excel, there are three main components. One is advanced deposit laser, second is gas laser, and third is account receivable laser. In gas laser, it is divided into two parts. One is in-house side, second is checkout side. So we will discuss one by one. Let me first just save this file on the second April. You can see that I took the file for the first April and just I'm going to save it as a second April. Okay, now it has been done. This is for second April. Now I'm going to open the file for the first April as well. Go to the second April. Now, as for the basic principles of the accounting, the opening balance of the second April will be the closing balance of the first April. So I'm going to take the command from the first April. The closing balance of the first April will be my opening balance of the first April, second April. So this has been done. There is no advanced deposit right now, so I'm just leaving as it is. Here I'm going for the account receivable ledger. I'll go to the first April's account receivable ledger. Go to the closing. Here you can see this is the closing side closing balance this is the closing I took it as my opening you see I just nullify the data for the first April now you can see that I have to carry forward for each and every folio so I'm going to do that one I'm going to make it closing balance as my opening balance let me first Okay, mm -hmm. and let me just write the command till the last. Okay, now just neutralize the data for the day for the previous day. I'm going to do that. Let me save it once. So now you can see the account receivable has been carried forwarded for the first chapter into the second chapter. Now I'm going to move in to the gas laser. Gas laser has a two parts. One is in-house side and second is checkout side. You can see this is the checkout side, right? And which we have seen previously is the in-house side. So what I have to do? I have to carry forward the balance for the day. So closing balance of the First April gas pleasure. This is my closing balance for this folio for this room number. I'm going to select that one. So the closing balance of the last day will be my opening balance of the current day. Means the closing balance of the first April will be my opening balance of the second April. I have to unlock the command which is deleting the dollar sign and I have to just carry forward the balance let me just delete the uh, all the revenue details which includes the room revenue as well as the other revenue other revenue is the paid amenities enjoyed by the customer so because this data belongs to the first chapter so i have to delete the data which belongs to the first chapter See, I did the uh, food and beverage data also. I delete the in-house payment. You can see this is in-house payment. So I delete here the in-house payment. This is PMS closing balance which is being entered manually to just match out the calculated balance. Let me just neutralize this one also. I did 
that one and I'm moving to the checkout side I'm going to delete the, all the payments which is given as checkout side so I'm going to delete the checkout payment as well you can see get this now here is the trick see while making the all entire calculation into the excel the most important part is see this data belongs to the last day because we just saved the file for the first april as a second april we just carry forwarded the command for the first april as a opening balance of the second april now but data is not being changed now here is the trick in checkout side we have to think that and consider considering the checkout side will be the in-house side of the last day it means the customer who are in-house for the last day or the for the previous day will be or can be check out today right so we have to put each and every customer at the checkout side for the last day let me just go to the first April I'm going to the gas manager selecting the customer name from here and closing balance for the customer which is this one you can see that this is a closing balance I put is equal to plus is the command and just put it as it is now here you can see that customer shows in house but to break this command I have to unlock the cell I have to unlock the cell here as well here you can see you have to just drag the data you can see each and every customer is in house because this data belongs to the last day and this data also belongs to the last day so both data gonna match and here I put a uh, remark or you can say condition that if you can see that the condition says that if this one is equal to this one it will show as an in-house otherwise it will show as a checkout you know I just simply put the command if and make an argument that if both the data is matching it will show as a in-house otherwise it will show as a checkout so this time no data varies because both data belongs to the last day you can see everything is in house now now in PMS Excel what are the important parts the important part is the revenue side as well as the payment side you can see the revenue has been segregated into the two different ways that is taxable revenue and tax exempt revenue here I put a sales tax and occupancy tax uh, as my uh, tax bucket because both tax are applicable to my franchisee to my hotel now here I put uh, you know I did just uh, give a command over here that whatever the amount I entered over here the 8.37 percentage will be the tax of the sales tax and the same way 5.5 percent is the occupancy tax so I don't have to enter anything over here it will calculate it automatically based upon the rent which I put over here right and this is the tax exam it will not applicable to here you can see that the tax is dependent variable and tax is dependent upon the taxable revenue column not the tax exam so this way you can put it down here are the other revenues which is the paid amenities for the hotel you can see this is a movie, phone, vending machine, postage, laundry, car rent, room rent, state charge, miscellaneous revenue, rollaway, food and beverage uh, food and beverage comes when the hotel itself is running the restaurant for the property and the other customer as well so these are, this is the most usable aspect you can see that and this is the banquet income our hotel also contains the banquet so this is the banquet there are two banquet income which is the taxable tax exempt mainly the equipment rental and the tax of the banquet banquet which is in use this is most important but this is in-house payment see customer customer can pay uh, his due in advance while he stay and at the time of checkout so some of the customers uh, are paying me when they are in house some of the customers are used to pay at the time of checkout it depends totally upon the habit of the customer and terms and norms of the franchisee 
so here i just put the mode of payment i put as a payment the cash that is the mastercard discover american express and direct plus in some of the cases direct payment can be made into the for the in house customer and here we come this is the checkout side i just uh, uh, you can see that i just uh, distributed my gas laser into the two sides in house side and the checkout side so in checkout side i can have the same column but no room revenue only outstanding balance but because we expect that whosoever check out will going to pay his due balance right in the form of payment the payment mode will be the same as cash check card right and here i put a uh, outstanding balance command which press down this way see the carry forward balance other revenue which is being used and enjoyed by the customer at the time of check out and these are the uh, deduction from the total payment so the total payment should be the outstanding balance of the day right so these are the aspects of the pnr system for the 4.5 share account we will understand how do we process the same thing with this excel in the next presentation thank you